Puspanjali, my heart like flowers millions of times at the lotus feet of my holy master, my supremely worshipable spiritual Gurudev, Asmadiya Parmarata Tamba Guru Pada Padma, Nitilila Pravisht Om Vishnu Pada Shtotara Sri Rupa Nuga Charya Varya Sila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. Прежде всего, я предлагаю свой шаштан на то, пошипать свое сердце, подобно лепесткам цветов, тысячи и тысячи раз лотосных стоп моего духовного учителя, Нисти Лилы Правишты, Оум Вишну Пада, Что Трошат Ашри, Рупа Ногачарьи Вари, Шилы Бхакти Веданты, Нарайны Госвами Махараджи. Secondly, I offer my pranam thousands of times at the lotus feet of my Param Guru Dev to Srila Prabhupada, and to all of our Sri Rupanuga Gaudiya Guru Parampara. 
пранами, тысячи раз, поклоны лотосных стоп моего парам, города Элашилы, Прабхупады, и все речи, рубаноги, гуру парампы. And finally, I offer my pranam to all the assembled Vaishnavas and Vaishnavas one to call to Rupa Sarsha Pash and to be able to put it on and have any for Vaishnavas. Shiva Gurudev Ki Jai Shiva Gurudev Ki Jai Shiva Gurudev Ki Jai Shiva Gurudev By the courses mercy of Sri Guru and Koranga, today, following in the footsteps of Sri Nityananda Prabhu, who was taking Srila Jiva Goswami on Navadip Dham Parikrama. Following in the footsteps of Ishan Thakur, the servant in the house of Sachimata, who took Sri Srinivas Acharya, Naratam Das Thakur and Ramachandra Kaviraj on Navadip Dham Parikrama. And following in the footsteps of Srila Bhaktino Thakur, as he has described his own experience in Navadip Dham Parakama in his Navadip Bhava Taranga. Exactly, exactly following their route from Antadweep through Simantadweep, Godrum Dweep, Madhya Dweep, Kola Dweep, Ritu Dweep, Janu Dweep, Moda Druma Dweep, Rudra Dweep on this side and the other part of Rudra Dweep on that side we completed today. And then we returned from where we began the Mayapur Yoga Peet. What is the significance of this Mayapur Yoga Peet? Srila Jiva Goswami part in his commentary on Brahma Samhita describes and also in Krishna Sandarbha he describes that there are two types of dhyan meditation. Aloula Chandrikala Satvana Malya Bhangsi Ratnanga Dampranaya Keli Kala Vilasam Shamam Tribanga Nalalita Niyata Prakasham Govindam Adi Purusham Tamaham Vajal Brahmaji is saying in the Brahma Samhita I worship that Govinda who is decorated with a locket which is a swinging Aloula Chandrika Banamalya Baha, he's wearing a garland of uh, a Banamala, that means made of flowers and also leaves from the forest and reaching down to the feet. Banamalya Bangsi, and he's playing on his flute. Ratnangadam, he is wearing angad, that means, uh, angad means armlet, with a Navaratna, nine types of jewels to propitiate the Navagraha, the nine planets. His uh, mother has tied this on him to protect him when he goes to take the cows to graze, because sometimes it can be dangerous. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Mother Yashoda can have faith in so many devas and devis, everything, but not us. <laughs> See, Krishna said in Gita, Kama ista ista rita gena prapadyantanya devata. Those who surrender to the devatas, mm -hmm. uh, then their intelligence has been stolen by desires. So that is for those who are in Avidya, in ignorance. Madhya Shoda is a special case. In the Bhagavad Sandarbha there is described that among the 16 shaktis of Sri Krishna, one is called Avidya. And it has two aspects. Hmm? One is the aspect of Avidya that is uh, uh, very active on fools like me. Uh, that keeps me in the state of ignorance. Mm. And the other type of vidya is one special vritti of prayer. By which the Vrajabhasis, they don't know that Sri Krishna is Bhagavan. Mm. They don't know that they are his eternal associates. They are in Nitilila in the spiritual world and they think they are here and wonder sometimes, what, where will I go in my next life? <laughs> Even though they've been there forever and no one is growing old, but they think like this. So this is a special aspect of Avidya which is part of Prem, pure love. So Madhya Shoda can take shelter of the grahas, the planets and astrology and jewels and all of these things, but not you. <laughs> Understand? Yes. Is it clear? Yes. <laughs> yes, you are not an exception. <laughs> so Ratnanga Dampana Kelikala Vilasam. See Krishna with peacock feather, with flute, with Ratnangada. He is oh, enjoying loving pastimes with his associates. Shamam Tribanga Lalitam, he is standing in the Tribanga form. And he is manif manifested in this way forever. Hmm? He's not going anywhere. He's staying in one place. Hmm? So the meditation on Krishna in one place, surrounded by his associates, is called Mantra Mai Upasana. Hmm? And the seat of that mantra Mayupasana Lila is called the Yoga Pit. It is called Mantra Upasana Mai Lila Pit. And that is the object of devotees' meditation when they remember their Diksha Mantra. Dipyat Prindaran Yakalp Drumadha Srimat Patnagar This is one type of dhyan meditation. Then there's another type Brahmaji is also describing. Chintamani Prakarasad Mashukalpa Briksha Laksha Vriteshu Suravira Vipalayantam Lakshmi Sahasra Sata Sambrama Sevyamanam Govinda Madi Purusham Tamaham Bajami He's saying that the abodes in Vrindavan 
are made of gentamani, wish fulfilling jewels. The trees in the forest are kalpa briksha, wish fulfilling trees. And, and there in the forest, see Krishna is tending the cows. Oh, the cows are Kama Denu, they can fulfill any desire. Lakshmi is a Hasra Satasambrava Sadhyamanam, and see Krishna is served with a great impetuous eagerness by the gopis of Brandavan, each one superior to Lakshmi Devi. So everything described in this verse actually cannot go on in one place. Krishna cannot take the cows to graze in the house. And also meeting with the gopis is also very problematic. <laughs> so the Dwani, the Dwani, that means the suggestion of this poetry is that this verse is describing the Swarasiki Lila, that is Krishna's pastimes that move from place to place. In the morning, Chintamani Prakarasad Nashu. See, Krishna is in his home in the uh, Nanda Bhavan in Nanda Gaon with Nanda Maharaj and Yashoda Maya. Then from Nanda Gaon with his friend and the cows, he goes out into the forest and has the Gocharan Lila grazing the cows. And then at some point he makes some excuse to sneak away and disappear from the cowherd boys. Perhaps he may take Madhu Mangal or Subal with him and then he'll go to meet with Braja Gopis, Lakshmi Sahasra Satasam Brahma Sepyamana. So here, Lord Brahma is describing the more advanced meditation that is called Swarasiki Upasana, the worship of Sri Krishna's pastimes, which are flowing spontaneously from location to location. That type of meditation, Swarasiki Upasana, is also called Asta Kaliya Lila Smaranam. But being absorbed in the service of Radha and Krishna oh, through the eight portions of the day. Some, <coughs> sometimes in Yavat. Sometimes in Nandagaon. Sometimes at Govardhan. Or at, at noon time in the Madhyan Lila at Radhakund. And in the night time at the Rasa Stali on the bank of Jamuna in Vrindavan. So no one can go directly to that pastime. Those persons who have not entered entered into the yoga pit, the mantram pasanamaya lila, have not realized Sri Krishna in the Vrindavan yoga pit. Huh? They have no access to that Swarasiki lila. If one will try to imagine that Astakali lila by force, uh, then this is imitation, not actual bhajan. One must take shelter of this purity manifest by Hrinam Prabhu. 
покровительство uh, Нама Прабу, который одарит преданного спорте видением. Those who are chanting the holy name without offense will experience Nam Nam Pratamam Nam Na Shravana Antakarana Shudyatam Apeksham Shudeich Antakarane Tadu Rupa Shavane Na Tadu Udoi Yogita Bhavati When the heart is purified, then when one is chanting the holy name, the root of Sri Krishna will appear. Then his gun, his qualities. Then his associates. Then, oh, Meditating on his associates by being absorbed in them, then your own Sorup will appear. <coughs> And then you can render yoga pit seva. Kalindira kule keli kadambero ba. He is describing how the devotee sits Radha and Krishna down on a beautiful throne, Dibyad Prindaranya Kalpudramada Sri Matanaga Singhasana stove, and serves them by fanning with a chamar, offering tumble and so on. <laughs> so in Krishna Sandarbha, Srila Jiva Goswami Pad said, when the Mantramaya Pasana, this service, Yoga Pit Seva, becomes mature, then Radha Krishna will get up and they'll go to another location. You can follow them. And naturally, this Swarasikya Upasana, Astakali Lila, begins to manifest in the heart. It cannot be imitated. Krishna Sandarbha, Jiva Goswami, explains how this Mantramaya Upasana Lila is in the heart. If you if you go to a shop window, you can see the mannequins are there. They are not actual real men and women. It is a putalika. Putalika mannequin. So, Prabhupada Bhaktisiddhanta Swatakur said, when someone does an artificial imitation of bhajan, then this is putalikata. Fake Swarup, fake meditation, fake Lila. So Sila Jeeva Goswami Pad said that Smaran goes in a Kram Sopan Rityaha. Kram Sopam Ritya, that means by the method of sequential steps, Nam, Rup, Gun, Parika, Seva, Mantra, Pasna, Maya Lila, Swarasiki Lila, like this. This is the sequence of the steps of realization. So, the attempt uh, to imitate, to go further, that is called Pauta Likata, 
и любая попытка пробовать что-то, на что не хватает квалификации у преданного, это просто игры в гугле. So one who is not taking shelter of the natural sporties in the heart caused by Shuddha Nam, then be in the absence of the support of Nama Sporti, That is called Prakrita Sahaja. <coughs> Prakrita Sahaja is a, not an insult to throw around here and there. It's a very technical term. And what I am explaining was explained by Prabhupada Bhaktisthan Sotakur in the, his lecture in the Albert Hall in Calcutta. <coughs> And Srila Gurudev has published this lecture in his book, The Chara Sampradaya Acharya and Gaudiya Vaishnav Darsha. It is not translated yet into English, but it is there in his Hindi book. No, it's one book, it's called Four Sampradaya Acharyas and Gaudiya Vaishnav Darshan. So, it's very difficult even to enter into the Brindavan Yoga Pit. One cannot do it by force. If by force you are trying to do it, then that means you are thinking, I am the doer. But in Nam Bhajan, who is Karta, the doer? Nam Prabhu. Hari Nam Prabhu is Karta, the doer. We are not the doer. So anyway, to help us have the realization of Vrindavan Yoga Beach, Radha Krishna appeared in this world in a combined form and manifest the Navadip Mayapur Yoga Beach. So we want to discuss the glories of the Mayapur Yoga Beach. Once it happened that Srinivas Acharya Narutam Das Thakur and Raman Chandra Kaviraj they, Ramachandra Kaviraj they came to Navadip Dham and they arrived in the Jagannath Mishra Bhavan and there they saw the old servant In, who used to serve Sachimata in the, the house of Sachimata. Now Mahaprabhu had left this world. Sachimata had left this world. Shiva Stakur. Oh. Advaita Acharya. But Ishan Thakur. He was still alive. He was very old. But he had seen with his own eyes all the, all the pastimes of Nimai Pandit from his birth to leaving Navadvip. So when Srinivas Acharya saw Ishan Thakur, he gave Dandavat Pranam. He said, Oh Prabhu, we have just arrived here in Navadvip Dham. Can you guide us on the parikrama of this holy place? So then Ishan Thakur said, Oh, the glories of Navadip Dham are unlimited. Like an endless ocean. 
My insignificant consciousness cannot touch even a drop of the glories of Navadipta. Then how can I take you on the parikrama? It is not possible. And he began to cry. So then, Ramachandra, Kaviraj, Narutam and Srinivas, they sat down and they were praying to Mahaprabhu. And then Ishan Thakur was inspired in his heart. He said, stay here today. But be ready tomorrow morning. I'll take you on the parikrama of Navadip. <laughs> so then Ishan Thakur, he was crying and remembering and showing them around the house of Jagannath Mishra. He said, when Nimai was a baby, <laughs> then, oh, devotees would be doing kirtan here. And Nimai was playing in the dust, naked with his friends outside. And when they started the kirtan, he would come running into the middle of the kirtan. And say, yes, yes. <laughs> they said, oh, why have you come here? You were calling me. And then he would smile and run away again. <laughs> yeah? So it often happened when devotees were doing kirtan, the baby Nimai would come. Yeah, you were calling me, but no one could understand what he meant. <laughs> Just outside Jagannath Mishra Bhavan was a big Kadamba tree. Hmm? And naked little baby Nimai would play in the dust there with his friends. Hmm? And if any adult was walking past, he would say, hey, hey, give me a Kadamba flower. They would say, oh Nimai, it's not as a season for Kadamba flowers. <laughs> and then he used to cry and tears were coming like pearls on his face. <laughs> Please look, look. <laughs> so then just to satisfy the small child, then the adult would look up the tree and <laughs> one Kadamba flower was growing there, out of season. Then that person would climb the tree, pick the flower, come down and give to Nimai. And he was very happy with it. <laughs> then they would walk away thinking, this child is very unusual, uncommon. Sometimes Nimai used to go stealing yogurt from the house of the neighbor. He saw some yogurt in a pot hanging from a rope. And he took a stick and he poked a hole in the bottom of the pot. And <laughs> the yogurt was all over his face. Then the Brahmin whose house it was came and called, I caught you thief. Hmm? I know, you, you are the son of Jagannath Mishra. And Nimai would fall at the feet 
of that uh, Brahmin and hold his feet and say, please don't tell my father, don't tell my father, I won't do it again. And then look up at the Brahmin with a beautiful smile and face covered in yogurt. <laughs> then the Brahmin, seeing the beauty of his face, was completely mesmerized. <laughs> and he would say, you can come to my house and take yogurt anytime. <laughs> One time, Mother Sachi decorated Nimai with very nice, valuable jeweled ornaments. And some thieves thought, oh, if we can take this boy to some private place, here in the public everyone can see, but if we can take him to some private place, we can steal his jewelry. И они пошли на какой-то праздник, и на этом празднике воры заметили эти достаточно дорогие украшения на ребенке. Подумали, если ребеночка отвезти куда-нибудь в сторонку подальше от глаз взрослых, то можно было бы обокрасть его. So they came there. Oh, Nimai, do you want some sweets? Come here. Они стали подзывать ребенка. Нимай, иди, hmm? иди сюда, вон конфетку тебе дадим. And then the thieves put the baby, one put him on his shoulders, and the two thieves went running off into the forest. And then, when they were far away, where no one could see them, then they put Nimai down, and they were just about to remove his ornaments. When they heard Sachi saying, Oh, Nimai, Nimai, come on, time for prasadam. And they saw that they were right there in the courtyard of the Jagannath Mishra, the, where they began, they had run, but they ended up in the same place. <laughs> and seeing that, they had, seeing that they had missed the opportunity, they quickly ran away before someone may say something. So although he seems like a little boy, but he is Vishwambar, the creator, maintainer and destroyer and the master of the whole universe and time and space. All, all existence is only his Lila and the Lila of his expansions and expansions and expansions. One day, some young Brahmin girls came to the bank of the Ganga to do worship of Mahadev. They brought garlands and flowers and sweets and bananas and incense and deeps. And they sat down to do their puja. Now Nima is a bit older. Very mischievous. And he came, he sat down there and said, oh, give these offerings to me. You should worship me and I'll bless you that you have a very uh, qualified and handsome husband. And he snatched the garland and put the garland on himself and started eating the sweets. <laughs> the girl said, oh, Nimai, stop, stop it. This is blasphemous. <laughs> you shouldn't joke with us like this. You are like our brother. You can see in the Chaitanya Chandradaya Natakam of Srila Kavi Karnapur, those young Brahmin girls say, Nimai, oh, you are just like our brother, so you should not tease us in this way. 
Брата. На таком видите в Кали Карнаполе. Там вот так процитировано, что девушки, вот эти юные дамы, они, они говорят, ты как mm -hmm. ты брат для нас, не надо с нами так шутить. There is no Goranga Nagri Bhav. И вот эта идея Горанга Нагари, это ну mm -hmm. вообще нет ее в реальности вот этой бабы. So then they might say, look, if you don't you offer all these things to me, then I'll give you a curse. That you have a husband who is very old and ugly. <laughs> and always angry with you. And not only that, but you have to share him with four co-wives at least. <laughs> so then the young girls became afraid and they made the offerings to Nima. <laughs> Sometimes when they were taking bath in the Ganga, their hair was loose and down, and Nimai would take a handful of there's a type of seed with spikes on it. And if this seed goes in your hair, then it takes you all day just to take out one of them. So he had hundreds of them and he would throw them in the hair. <laughs> Then they would all have to spend hours trying to pull them out of each other's hair. After school, when Nimai was studying in the school of uh, Gangadas Pandits, then when school was finished, then he and his friends, they were uh, covered in spots of ink. И часто после того, как завершались занятия в школе Гангадас Пандитов, и пандиты, друзья, они были облакованы. Так что перед тем, как они вернулись домой, они играли в Гангадас. После школы они были подные, все покрытые пылью, заляпанные чернилами. Обычно мальчики перед тем, как вернуться домой, шли принять омовение в Ганге, искупаться. Немай would say to his friend, hide here and watch this. <laughs> One sannyasi was bathing in the Ganga and he very surreptitiously came and stole his cloth and one old lady was at the woman's gat and put the sannyasi cloth there and then stole the old woman's sari and came and put it where the sannyasi. <laughs> Он украл эту одежду, побежал к тому месту, где купались женщины, к женской э, части берега купания, там взял одежду одной пожилой бабушки и поменял и отнес эту женскую одежду, подложил на берег, где купался Саньяси, а я ее оставил монашеские одежды. And then when the Saniasi came out, he had no option, he had to just cover himself with the colorful sari. Когда Саньяси вышел, он понял, что нет ничего кроме сари, там пришлось замотаться в сари. And he was going around very angry. Who has done this? Wait till I I catch him. <laughs> and all the friends of Nimai were laughing so much. <laughs> Good one, Nimai. <laughs> Nimai told, shh, watch this. The Brahmanas who are impersonists, they were remembering Gayatri Mantra in the water of Ganga. Submerged up to the waist. Oh, meditating on Brahman. <laughs> there were so many of them. And Nimai swam underneath the water and catch the legs of one Brahman and pull. <laughs> and then he swam to the next one and pull. <laughs> my school friends were watching. <laughs> one by one the Brahmanas were going under the water. <laughs> the next day when they were trying to meditate on Brahman, they were only thinking, Nimai, where is that Nimai? Is he going to pull me? <laughs> How merciful is Mahaprabhu? <laughs> Sometimes the Brahmanas would take bath and then put on fresh tilak and be ready to do their puja and Nimai would have a mouthful of Ganges water and poof!
омовение, приготовили сопровождение кожи. Немай набирал рот полной воды и начинал плеваться на него. И, конечно же, это ужасало Брахмана, потому что это считалось осквернением. What kind of contamination is this? Ganga jal from the lips of Supreme Lord. Then never have to take bath again. <laughs> But they did not know that well, now I have to take bath again and put on fresh tea like before I can do puja. <laughs> so one day the, the brahmanas had had enough. <laughs> and they went in a group to the house of Jagannath Mishra to complain. Your son is terrorizing us today. <laughs> Jagannath Mishra became upset. I'll teach him a good lesson. <laughs> and he took a stick in his hand. Wait till he comes back. <laughs> So then, Nimai, after making problem with the Brahmanas, he was about to leave. But those girls who were arguing with him so much before, they came and said, Nimai, be careful. They have told your father and he's very angry. He wants to beat you. The friends of Nimai said, oh, now you're in trouble today. <laughs> Nimai said, no problem at all. So then Nimai He took some dust and he rubbed it on his body. Made some ink spots here and there. Hmm? And took his books and started to walk home. Jagannath Mishra was waiting. Nimai! You have been making trouble at the guard. Nimai said, Oh, Father, I stayed overtime at school today. I haven't even been to the guard yet. <laughs> Perhaps they are mistaken. It could have been someone else. Jagannath Mishra looked and saw his son was still dusty and still ink spots are there. He had not taken a bath So then he put down his stick. He said, all right, now go and take your bath in the garden. And then he went back to play with his friends. All his friends were, Jai Nimai! Jai Nimai! So Nimai Pandit, he was very naughty. But after he went to Gaya and received Diksha from Srila Ishra Puripad, then he completely transformed. Now he was very humble and very well behaved. He was always looking for a chance to serve Vaishnavas. He would carry their flower baskets when it was time to do their puja. Sometimes when they were not looking, he would take their laundry and wash their cloth, hang it to dry and then fold it and bring it back. И когда никто не видел, он забирал грязную одежду вайшнавов, бежал, стирал ее, сушил, и потом, сложив аккуратной стопочкой, возвращал эту уже чистую одежду в дом. He always used to bow down to the Vaishnavas and take their foot dust and pray, please bless me. Всегда кланялся вайшнавам, касался их стоп, искренне просил о благословении. Who is telling this? Ishan Thakur, everything I'm telling. Ishan Thakur is telling Srinivas Acharya. He's there in the yoga pit and remembering all the years he was there with Nimai. He said, oh Srinivas, you see this tree here? 
One Brahmin named Ratna Garba Acharya used to sit beneath this tree and recite the verses of Srimad Bhagavatam. Ratna Garba Acharya was an old Brahmin from the, uh, the village of Sri Hatta. Now Bangladesh. That is the ancestral home of the Jagannath Mishra. He was born there. And Ratnagar Bacharya was the first person from whom Jagannath Mishra heard Srimad Bhagavatam. So now Nimai Pandit had become a Vaishnava. <coughs> he was absorbed in the mood of gopis of Braja. And when he heard the verses glorifying the man of Radhika from Srimad Bhagavatam, then Nimai Pandit began to tremble and he fainted. The devotees told Ratnagarbacharya, please stop, stop. And gradually Nimai came back to external consciousness and weeping, he embraced Ratnagarbacharya. Under this very tree, Ishantakur said. So after discussing the pastimes, Gora Leela the whole day, then uh, the devotees came, Srinivasacharya, Naratama and Ramachandra Kaviraj to take rest in the house of Jagannath Mishra. Everyone went to sleep. But Srinivas Acharya could not sleep. He was wide awake. He sat up in the dark. And he was looking around Jagannath Mishra Bhavan. He was thinking to himself. Two questions came to his heart. This is the home of Supreme Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <coughs> but it was like this. <laughs> Why is it made of such insignificant materials like bamboo and straw and grass? <laughs> and why was I living so far away? Hmm? In the Yajpur, Yajigram. Why was I living so far away in Yajigram and I missed all the pastimes of Mahaprabhu? Just as he was contemplating these questions, by the influence of Pradamaya he fell asleep. And in his dream, he saw that he was walking towards Mayapur. It was a beautiful city with walls made of gold. He gave pranam to Navadvip and entered into the town. Then he came to Jagannath Mishra Bhavan. It was also made of gold and jewels and crystals. He went inside, he thought, who was, who was the architect who designed this? Was it Vishwakarma? <coughs> the opulence of this place defeats the palace of Indra, the king of heaven. And he entered into one chamber of Jagannath Mishra Bhavan. 
And there he saw Горгари sitting on a jewel throne. And on one side, Lakshmi Priya Devi, and on the uh, that means uh, Sri Shakti, and on the other side, Vishnu Priya Devi, Bhu Shakti. And Lakshmi Priya and Vishnu Priya both had thousands and thousands of maid servants who were carrying trays with a sandalwood paste, with tambu, who were carrying the chamaras. Thousands of maid servants. The followers of the Goran Menagri Bab use this as the praman. The, oh, I will be one of those maids of the Goran Menagri But the peat the yoga pit of Gaur Narayan with Sri and Bhu Shakti, Lakshmi Priya and Vishnu Priya is a, a opulent manifestation worshipped through Vaidhi Bhakti, not through Radha Maharaj. You must understand that this yoga pit is the Aishwarya Prakasham, which is called Vaidhi Bhakti, but not Radha Nuga Bhakti. So the Goranga Nagri Bhakti is only for Buddhi Nash, those whose intelligence has been uh, destroyed by speculation. Goranga Nagri Bhakti is just a demon for the blessed. Srila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj told Srila Bhakti Nautakur to establish in the center, in the yoga pits, this place, it is called the Antapur Vilas of the yoga pits. Antapur Vilas. And it represents the opportunity to serve Gaur Narayan Mahaprabhu through Vaidhi Bhakti. After beholding this scene, then Shridibas Acharya suddenly woke up. And he looked around and saw the grass and the bamboo. <laughs> then he went back to sleep. Then in his dream he saw he was in another part of Jagannath Mishra Bhavan. And there he saw Mahaprabhu with Nityananda Bhu on this side and Gadada Pandit on this side at Vaita Charya in front offering prayers and Srivas Thakur holding an umbrella. That was the Panchatattva. And they were dancing in Kirtan with all their associates. He saw Murari Gupta was there. Oh, the video там. Murari Gupta. Nanda Nacharya. Nanda Nacharya. He saw the Raghunanda. Raghunanda. Chiranjeev. Chiranjeeva. Mukunda Sanjay. <coughs> all the Haridas Thakur, all the Navadvipa associates. But also in that Kirtan he saw Srila Ishwara Puri, Srila Madhavendra Puri and Lakshmi Pati Tirtha. Sorab Davadar. He saw Ramananda Rai was there. And Prataparudra Maharaj. And Sikhi Mahiti was there. <laughs> he saw Rupa Goswami, Sanat, all the Gopal Bhatta Goswami, all the Goswamis were there also. Rupa Goswami, Gopal Bhatta Goswami, все Goswami были там. And it was the Kirtan Vilas of Yoga Pit. Это был Kirtan Vilas Yoga Pit. And then Sri Srinivas Acharya suddenly woke up. Снова Srinivas Acharya проснулся. And he saw oh bamboo and straw. И увидел опять бамбук и солому вокруг себя. Again he fell asleep. Снова заснул. In his dream, he went to another part of the house of Jagannath Mishra. There he saw 
Sachinandan Gohari sitting on a golden throne encrusted with jewels. And Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, Surya, Chandra, Indra, Ganesh, all the devotees were there offering prayers and doing puja to Gorahari. И там были все девоты, все, там был Прахма, Шива, Индра, Ганеш, и они проводили пуджу Горахари. And Горахари was manifesting his Aishwarya Vilas. Горахари являл свою Aishwarya Vilas у там. Then Shrinivasacharya woke up again. Shrinivasacharya снова проснулся. Again he fell asleep. И снова заснул. In his dream he saw Ayodhya. Во сне он увидел Ayodhya. Ayodhya Vilas. Again he woke up. He saw Dwarka Vilas. Again he woke up. He saw Mathura Vilas. Krishna, all his associates in Mathura. Again he woke up. Only bamboo and straw. This is yoga pitch. My upward. Again he fell asleep. And then in his dream he saw Braja Vilas. Radha and Krishna were dancing sweetly surrounded by billions of Braja Gopis. And then Radha and Krishna when they became somewhat tired from dancing they retired to a Nikunj. At that time, Srinivas Acharya forgot who am I and he realized I am Mani Manjari. And in the form of Mani Manjari, she entered into the Nikunj and served the divine couple Radha Krishna in the Nikunj Vilas. And Srinivas Acharya woke up again. And now the whole night had passed and the sun was just about to rise. And that was Srinivas Acharya's first night in Yoga Bhi. Those who will hear the glories of the Mayapur Yoga Bhi with great honor and with great faith will definitely receive the mercy of Gauraji. Sila Narahari Chakravati said, and they will become empowered to appreciate and relish the sweetness of Navadipa. Narahari <laughs> Paramadeya Prema Data Padmavati Kumasi Nityananda Pubu Kijai Vitae Gaur Prema Nandai Hari 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 Hari